and welcome to another booktube video from me, Martha May Books. Today I have for you books that I would like to try and read in autumn. So I like to try and read seasonally, um, it doesn't always work out like that because I'm a mood reader so even though it might be snowing outside I'll be like hey let me read a book that's set in the summer. So who knows <laughs> um, how I will do with this but it's a stack of books that I want to try and read in autumn or, or that I feel are autumnal and hope that I can manage to convince myself to read in autumn. First of all I have my TBR for September which is just such autumnal colours. I just looked up when autumn starts and apparently it doesn't start until the 22nd of September but like hello autumn. So there's that. Autumn's like one of my favourite seasons in principle but then actually when it starts getting cold and the nights start getting dark and Halloween has passed then I don't like it. So anyway speaking of Halloween um, the first book that I've got here is Cirque de Freak by Darren Shan. So this is a book series that I've loved for a very very long time. I started reading it when I was about 11 um, and I just really like it. I like a spooky vampire um, and I like to read a couple of books from the series every October to kind of get me in the Halloween spirit. Next is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. It is chunky. It's like uh, 900 pages basically and I don't know what it's about but I bought it from a charity shop because I wanted to watch the film and I've not read it and I've not watched the film so it's going well for me. Then I've got Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Liani Taylor. Um, I've seen this a couple of times on booktube. I think it's about a girl who's raised by demons. That's all I know but it sounds spooky and that's why I want to read it. A theme of this is generally, I've got a hair on me, a theme of this like loose TBR is either it's spooky or cosy? I don't know. Then I have Sarah Waters' The Night Watch. This is the second book that I own um, with night in the title and it's one of two. Here they are, Book of the Night Women and Night Watch. I'm hoping to read this alongside the Book of the Night Women for Kayla's Buzzwordathon because the word is night. Then I've got a Persephone book. So this is, oh, the bookmark. A while ago I was, as a present from my grandmother, I was given a um, six month subscription to Persephone where they send you a Persephone book of your choice every month for six months and I have only read one of them because I'm a terrible person and so I thought I could try and read some more and this is Doreen by Barbara Noble. I might not read this one but it is a stand-in for a Persephone book that I want to read. Then I have The Well of Ascension which is the second book in the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I read the first one a year ago maybe and I really liked it but I'm just struggling to get back into the oh look I've got a beautiful bookmark in there another Persephone one. Look at these tabs this is the um I like put tabs when I'm reading a chunky book to break it up to give myself motivation to keep reading it and I've also written the properties of the metals I think that was from when I read Final Empire. So yeah I want to continue with this series because I like Brandon Sanderson's writing. I was originally taking part in the there's that readathon on at the moment which is where they read all of the Brandon Sanderson series. I was taking part in that and I read Elantris and the short stories and then they were reading Final Empire so I dropped off and now I don't know where they are but if I'm close tell me because I'd love to join in because I need motivation to read it. Next I've got Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyang. So this is a YA fantasy where there are girls in different classes and these are the paper girls and the paper girls bad things happen to them I don't remember but look how pretty it is and I think it's signed as well it is I, I'm getting there I'm getting there I promise it's signed ah, signed then I've got uprooted now I've owned uprooted for so long this is by Naomi Novik by the way I've not said um it's so pretty and it's blurbed by Robin Hobb who I like and so um, hopefully I will like it. I don't know. I've, I've heard mixed things. I bought this years ago so hopefully I'll read it. Autumn seems like a good time to read a book like that. And then I've got this stolen bicycle which my grandmother bought in an independent bookshop and then 
immediately went, do you want this? And just gave it to me. And she was like, after I bought it, I decided I didn't want it. But like, look how pretty this edition is. It's glorious. But I have no idea what it's about, but I thought I'd read it. So there we are. Oh, it's, it's got drawings in. Cool. Then I've got Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. Is it about time travel? I don't know. Then I have We Are Blood and Thunder by Kisa Lupo. It's a YA fantasy. I don't know anything other than that. Lena is running for her life, convicted of being a mage and sentenced to death. Her only way to survive is to trust those she's been brought up to fear. Those with magic. Ooh, Merlin vibes. Then I have got The Golden Fool by Robin Hobb, book two of the Tawny Man trilogy. I loved book one of the Tawny Man trilogy. I love Robin Hobb. I want to read it. <laughs> then I have, wow, how many times can I said then I have? Then I've got Shadow of the Wolf by Judy Kagawa. I've seen that there are people on booktube that really love this book and I want to love it too. <laughs> there we are. Then I've also got, which I don't know if this is a bit stupid, um, but I've also got The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, which I believe is book one. If it's not book one, oh it is. Book one in the first law. Um, I don't know what this is about, but it's a high fantasy by Joe Abercrombie. I read Half a King or something like that a while ago um, and I liked it. So I'm interested to try this series. The problem with this is that I've got quite a lot of fantasy and two continuations of high fantasy series already. So do I wanna start another one? I'll put it on the pile anyway. We're getting close to the end, don't worry. Then I have The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. I've wanted to read this for quite a long time. I believe it's about a woman who's accused of murdering. Franny Langton made to Mr. and Mrs. Benham goes on trial for their murder. Oh yeah, I remember this because I read it. I read the blurb and I got excited for it. Finally, I have the most autumnal looking book my entire TBR here. The Familiars by Stacey Halls. I think this is about witches. Spooky. So there we are. Those are, woo, it nearly fell. Um, those are all of the books that I am hoping to read in autumn slash they just seem autumnal and I have high hopes for myself. If you have read any of these books, please let me know what you thought of them and if they are worth reading. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.